ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. We have seen Stipe Miocic invest in the body, attack the body in previous fights to great effect. And, you know, he's pretty tight-lipped in our fighter meetings, as you can attest, DC, but certainly he feels like the body is going to be there tonight if he can invest in the world. Aspinall gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Miocic gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Those are big strikes. Flips that left hand. Really good start by the boxer here, DC. Staying within himself and letting his counter game do the talk. I mean, it's hard to do. I don't know how many times over the course of my long career that I was able to land something effectively, a counter strike effectively. But there are people that can do it, and they do it at the highest level. He is one of those people. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, there's a big overhand. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Stay strong. We're still in this fight. Let's go. Come on now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. That's a big hook. Down attempt. It is not there. And not a tumble either. Oh, big leg right hand, yes. Nice block. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, nice kick. Challenge with a straight right hand. That'll work. Just missed with the left there. Just over two minutes to go. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Stipe's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. No yeah. denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the foot. That was in the night. Miacic is now dealing with a cheat cut. Both fighters throwing heat now. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Fifteen seconds. Oh, that's a nice inside leg kick right there. 
counters with the straight leg. Round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Great defense. That punch had no chance. On point with that jab today. Punch to the head by Aspinall. Well, he landed a big knock. Oh, hurt, hurt. Hurt back. Beautiful combination. Push kick there to the body. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut. More blood by the minute. If head movement wasn't important early, it's very important now because that cut has gotten a lot worse. Nice punch by Espinel. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. Now. Back to the jab now, no good. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Matt. Well, that swelling is getting out of control to that end. You see the referee has paused the action, likely to call on the doctor. We'll see if this fight can continue, champ. Well, it's so noticeable. You got to check on it. You got to make sure that this fighter is able to continue. Well, this is a good sign. The doctor talking to the referee, and the fight will continue, at least for now. Yeah, this is a good decision. I mean, swelling can be superficial. Fight. He seems like he wants to compete. Let's go. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity. Oh, he's Oh! Trying to finish this fight. Gets back to his feet. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just... Wow! Go here, round two. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, man, look at this. He is officially... Oh, well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout.